right, guys, for some reason I have a lot of requests to come back and do an update on this place pretty often. This is the Toys R Us over here on Whipple in Canton, Ohio. I don't even know how many times I've filmed this place, but look up here at the label scar. That looks pretty cool, and if you remember, uh, I think it was the last time I was here, they were removing these letters and they took down the star and I took a picture right over here laying down on the ground in the middle of that star. Now I know every one of you right now is saying, did you take the star? Well, no, I didn't. There was already somebody else here to pick it up. They had their truck pulled up up there. I just said, hey, let me get this picture quick and we laid it down and I laid down and got the picture. So today we are killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, one stone being me, two birds, being the abandoned Toys R Us and updating this Toys R Us. Now what we're gonna do, because I don't think it's ever been done, we're gonna walk the entire perimeter of the parking lot and then we're gonna go all the way around from the front to the back of this place, see if there would happen to be any kind of little remnants or anything. You never know what we'll find. If you guys remember, last year this was turned into a spirit Halloween and I cannot wait to see if they're gonna turn it back into a spirit Halloween. I will definitely be back out here filming if they do. But for right now, let's start the walk around the parking lot here. See if we can find anything. You never know, maybe there's a receipt or something from Toys R Us that has blown out here. I remember before they started building the uh, the Menards in New Philly in place of the old Super Kmart, I used to go out there and just walk the whole perimeter and look in, you know, among all the trees and all that stuff, because there was all kinds of stuff out there. And it was nothing that was really all that special, but you just never know what you're going to find. You know, maybe there's some signage out here or something. Probably all we're going to find is just people's trash that they've thrown out here. You know, that's what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, that's a piece of foam. I'm not going to touch it, but who knows? That could be a piece of something, some kind of signage that was inside. And this is all just garbage from nasty people coming out here, eat their lunch, and then they throw the trash out the window. Wendy's Fry Box. <laughs> Somebody out there in the back of the parking lot kind of spying around. We'll see if they come up here and tell me to leave for any reason, but not like I'm doing anything. What do we got here? Oh uh, yeah, just some more trash. Let's keep on trucking. Now we are going to go up to the building in a minute here, so if you're thinking, I don't wanna see trash, then just hang out for a minute or speed through a few minutes of this video until we get done with this part. And I will be up at the um, building and we're gonna check out the label scar and I'm gonna tell you a few things about that. And we're just gonna keep on looking around the whole perimeter. See if we can find anything awesome. Yep, yeah, just trash. Beer cans and chip bags and crap like that. Not seeing anything that's really interesting here. It is pretty amazing to me how big this parking lot was. And you know, there's a reason why it was this big because at one point, there were this many customers in this Toys R Us. I mean, look at this. Look how huge this parking lot is. There's the Toys R Us clear up there. Just imagine at Christmas time having to park clear back here in the back and walk all the way up there to the store. <laughs> What's that? There's some bag up there. Not a Toys R Us bag. I'm not going to go look in it, though. It could have somebody's head in it. I don't know what's over here either. Let's just take a little peek. Welcome to North Avondale Heights, I think that says, Homeowners Association. Okay, we're not interested in that. <laughs> Let's see what this is over here. Eh, yeah, paper towel bag. Yeah, it's all just garbage. You know, people pull up and just dump their garbage around here like the slobs that they are. I mean, Keep it in your car for five minutes, you know? Put it in the garbage somewhere. There's a basketball down there. Free basketball, Space Jam. If you guys didn't happen to watch my uh, my Saturday video this past Saturday, it was Space Jam. I do the Saturday night snack and a movie videos on Saturdays. And I built a drive-in theater in my backyard. You guys gotta check it out, it was awesome. The picture was huge. 
and I actually had to cut out a few, uh, well, about 30 seconds of it because I showed a little bit too much of the movie and they gave me a copyright strike. So, uh, you know, I fixed that. I removed it. So, yeah, guys, look at this. This is the back of this parking lot here. And at one point, like I said, probably around Christmas time, the whole thing would have been packed. You would have had to park way back here, get your exercise walking all the way up there. But this is kind of funny, too, because after a while, after it slowed down, you can see where they only bothered to pave up to about halfway. So this is all overgrown back here. And even these light posts, you can see where they're all rusty and they're bent and they just, they didn't upkeep this stuff anymore at all. Just the stuff up past halfway there. Look, this is from Moe's. That's a restaurant. I think that, I could be wrong, but I think that restaurant actually has closed down or is closing down. Mostly due to losing all kinds of service because of this whole COVID thing. But let's walk over here by the edge. Never know what might be up in here. Sometimes you find, like, carts and stuff. Wouldn't it be sweet to find a Toys R Us basket over here? That would be awesome. I should, probably shouldn't look in here. This is probably where the killers go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Some kind of a book back there. Again, though, I'm not going to pick through that. There's a tire right there. Oh, my gosh. I actually am pretty surprised that this has not become more of a dumping ground. At one point it did, if you remember, over the winter. Last year, I believe it was, I came over here and filmed. And around the edge there, it was a total dumping ground. I mean, people just dumped off all kinds of garbage and furniture and stuff like that. <clears throat> and uh, they have since cleaned it up, but I did notice some more stuff over there today so anyways yeah it doesn't look like we're gonna find any kind of cool stuff up in here uh, what is this sign over here oh a painting what is this I wonder I don't know if this was part of the store or not looks like it might have been part of a sign or something however the, uh, the original Toys R Us sign is still up out here, just past those trees. I'll show you that as soon as I get down here. And if you're new to the channel and you don't know, I was actually here last year um, filming when they were putting up the Spirit Halloween sign. And I filmed when they were taking down all these letters up here and everything on the side there as well. One of my intros, I even took a picture right over here in front of that sign. I've filmed out here a lot of times. I remember coming out here a couple times with Richard Wolf. <laughs> we tried to do like a candlelight vigil out here, but the, uh, the wind was blowing so hard we couldn't even light the candles. Yeah, there's the big sign out there, still standing strong. It does have a tear in the corner there, if I can zoom in a little. Yep, but it is still up. I don't know what the benefit is to leaving that up there. I mean... Toys R Us probably was like, we're not even messing with it, why would we? But it's cool that it's still up there. This used to be Kids R Us over here where it was most recently this Bargmax place and it's also closed down. This whole building is abandoned. Um, and yeah, so that brings us up to the building here. We'll just start on the side. And right here, you can obviously see the label scar from where it used to say Toys R Us. And with how small that looks, those letters were actually enormous. I could not believe how big they were. They had taken them down and laid them along the building right here. Some of them were on the ground and that. And uh, they're actually enormous. Cool thing about this sign though, I have pieces to this sign. I don't have any full letters because when they took them down, they fell and they broke into pieces and everything. But I did pick up a whole bunch of different colored pieces from the letters. I thought that would be kind of a cool thing to have in my collection. I'm glad that I do have it in my collection. The R, I believe, was still fully intact, but it was already spoken for. So, um, yeah, just a kind of a cool little fun fact there. In fact, I've been thinking of ways that I can actually give you guys my whole collection, my whole retail collection. Um, because I'm moving into my RV soon, 
and I have to get rid of that stuff, unfortunately. I'm not gonna store it anywhere. So I'm thinking of creative ways that I can actually spread that stuff out, make it available to you guys. And, uh, you know, I think that would be the best way to do it. So we'll find our way over to the front of the building in a minute here, but let's walk around the whole thing starting out here. And as you can see, again, what the heck is that thing? That looks like Floam. <laughs> you know that toy Floam? I am not touching it. But, uh, but yeah, that may have come from in here. Otherwise, this is all just garbage here again. You know, people pull up and eat their lunch and just dump their crap out here. Box of cigarettes. Somebody's nasty mask. Ugh. <sighs> This is a pretty big parking lot here, too. And like I was saying about the parking lot out, out front there, I mean, at one point, this store was so busy that this was all full. Like I said, this was uh, Kids R Us up here, too. So there was people shopping here, too. But, I mean, this entire parking lot, man, used to be hopping. That's kind of a cool picture right there with the label scar and the dark clouds in the back. Kinda spooky. What is the last thing any of you bought in a Toys R Us store? Let me know in the comments below. I think that would be cool to know. The very last thing that I bought in a Toys R Us was a birthday gift for my granddaughter. I honestly don't remember exactly what it was, but ooh, let's take a peek in there. Okay. Yeah. Just an empty store. I remember shopping in here back when it was Kids R Us. And when it was Barg Max. And it was something else too. And I remember shopping in there as well. It looks like there's some keys. Yeah, sitting on the uh, counter there. Huh. wonder what that goes to. Let's keep on a moving here. Yeah, not a whole lot to see here, but... You can see that it definitely is empty. Some lights on still. Outdoor living sign up there from when it was Bark Max. There's our Toys R Us sign out there. I just wonder if there's anybody who is so detached that they have no idea Toys R Us closed and they're like driving down the highway here and their kids are like, Toys R Us, Toys R Us. And so the family's fine. The dad driving is like, fine, and pulls in, and then it's totally abandoned. <laughs> I highly doubt it, but here's the Bargmax signage on here. Kind of surprises me that's still up, but, you know, again, I kind of think that's a deterrent. I think that um, when these places are left abandoned and... They take down all the signage and everything, then it's obvious that it's abandoned. And anybody who might do so might see it and go, okay, I'm gonna break in there and see what I can find. But uh, if they leave the wording up and everything, and it still looks like an open building, then somebody who otherwise would break in if it was abandoned probably just ignores it. They probably don't even see it because they're not looking for an open building. So this is behind the store here. What do we got, Wild Irish Rose? No, <laughs> I don't know what that is, some kind of vodka or something. Champion sticker there. Yeah, ooh, we got a cart over here. We'll check that out in just a second and see what it is. This would have been the loading dock for uh, Kids R Us. And that one straight back there with the double doors is Toys R Us. Yeah, let's look at this cart right here a minute. All kinds of garbage lining this thing. Salvation Army. Oh, I'll bet somebody just took that from the Salvation Army right down the street. Because here's the bus station. Salvation Army is the next building over. All kinds of nasty trash out here. People's clothes, cassette tapes. I wonder what that is. All right, I got to pick it up and see. What in the heck is that? Christmas? Some kind of Christmas thing. Christy Lane, Christmas is the man from Galilee. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. I think this is steps over here. Yeah. All right. Let's see if there's anything over here. The big trash can in the compactor was right here when it was. I remember it being there from uh, from when me and Richard and Kara came out here dumpster diving. Look, we got a Baby's R Us card right here. That's kind of cool. But the huge dumpster was right here. We crawled right up in that thing. I still have tons of bags, like shipping bags from it. Baby's R Us card. Hmm. Anything cool, though? I don't see anything else that's very cool. I got a pair of Levi's up here. <laughs> I would die if this was like a pair of big E Levi's. And what I mean by that is on the old ones, you see how the E is little on there? You find a pair of Levi's where that E is big and you are instantly rich. They're worth a ton of money. But yep, here's, well, there's another card right there. Toys R Us card. And another Toys R Us card here. Toys R Us Babies R Us compilation. <laughs> Birthday card, there's another one over there. Yeah, this is just basically what I expected to see. <clears throat> Here's one shaped like a ske uh, skeleton. That's pretty much for it for here, though. Continue on our journey around the building. Yeah, that was one of the most fun nights ever, coming over here dumpster diving with Richard and Kara. That video is on this channel, too, if you just search for it. But, uh, but it was definitely fun. Middle of the night, crawling through that huge dumpster. <laughs> Nothing to be seen around the perimeter there. But this over here is where the pickup was. And they used to have the uh, the Toys R Us pickup sign here. I think Jeffrey was on that sign. That sign may have still been up when we did that dumpster diving video. I wonder if we'll run into that um, deer again. Yep, more trashy people. Leaving their garbage here. I don't think we're gonna find any cool Toys R Us remnants though, guys. Hmm. Little bit of graffiti. Yeah, nothing very interesting back here. Got some stuff up here, but Yep, more trash. Why do people have to be so disgusting? I just don't get it. I mean, why would you ever need to throw your trash on the ground? Just keep it with you for five minutes until you find a trash can. They're all over the place. I wonder what this is over here. Oh, yeah, this is just more discarded trash. <laughs> Whole bag of trash there. I don't know what that was. Some kind of toolbox or something. Hmm. Kind of fun, though, just to walk around here and explore a little bit, you know? I have always loved exploring. Yep. No deer. He ran away. There's somebody else's trash here. Well, that's pretty much it for... A walk around except for the front here let's go look at the front of the building and check out the label scar it's just always so amazing to see these places after they're closed down okay it looks like somebody has like their coat or something up here that they just took off and tossed in the corner yeah <laughs> yeah somebody's jacket jeans like who's coming out here and just like i'm gonna get naked <laughs> <laughs> i 
And you can see there's like the double T up there because they changed the sign at one point. To Toys R Us. Here's where the star was. And that thing was absolutely huge. I'll have to see if I can find that picture and put it in here of me laying in the star. And I got pictures with the R and all these letters as well. They were all laying down here on the ground. And the guys that were taking them down said, take whatever you want except for the R. And yeah, that other guy in the truck took the star. The R was actually sitting inside here because it was already spoken for. And the other ones were laying down on the ground. Some of them were broken, some of them weren't. So let's go take a peek in the windows here. I don't know if we're going to be able to see anything, but... Uh, I mean, you can see that there's lights on in there in the back. Wow, it is completely empty in there. There's not even anything from Spirit in there. Of course, they put up different, uh, different walls so that... Because they're obviously not going to use the entire store. So they put up their own walls... Yeah, I don't know how much you can see there. Let me zoom in a little. But it's pretty empty in there. And that is pretty much it, guys. There's really nothing else to see here. That's the building. There's the R. I love that R. I bet I've filmed this place eight to ten times. It's different every time, you know, there's always some different take on it, some other memories that pop up about it. One of the last times I was in there was, uh, I made two videos. One of them was just with music. It had music and, and like it was like a sad thing, you know. And the other one was like a complete walk through the store. Um, and this was long after it was closed. And even, I think it was right before it became Spirit. And uh, a friend of mine, Bill Smith, actually uh, was going in there to buy some things, pick up some things that he bought. And he said, hey, do you want to go with me? You can make a video. So I did. Thank you, Bill. Those videos turned out to be totally awesome. And there it is, guys. Here's your Toys R Us. Even standing here looking at it right now, it's, it's just kind of strange. You know, knowing this is somewhere that I used to shop. So, plenty of Christmases coming out here and getting the kids toys and everything. Huh. Alright, Toys R Us out.